In this video, we're going to learn how to use the special triangles. And so the first question asks us to find the sin of 30. So we go look for the 30 degrees and there we find it. We know from Sokotoa that sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And so that's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. And so that's going to give you a half. Moving on to number two, we're going to be looking at the tan of 45. So you can use this 45 or you can use this 45. I'm going to use this one over here. And so we know that tan is the opposite, so that's opposite, over the adjacent, which is just 1 over 1. Well, 1 over 1 is just 1. Moving on to number 3, cos of 60. So we go to the 60 degree, here it is. We know that cos is the adjacent, so that's there, over the hypotenuse, and so that's going to give us 1 over 2. Moving on to sin 45, so we go to the 45, you can either choose this one or you can choose this one. This time I'm going to choose this one over here. And if you type in sin 40, no not type in, sorry, we're using special triangles. So sin 45 is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and so the opposite is 1. And the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. Now, if you have to type that in on your calculator, well, the calculator is going to give you an answer of square root 2 over 2. Now, how can this be happening? Well, did you know that 1 over square root 2 is actually the same as the square root of 2 over 2? Don't believe me? Well, try to type this in on your calculator and watch how the calculator will automatically pop out that as the answer. It's got to do with something called rationalizing, and this is how teachers can catch you out if you are not actually using your special triangles. So, I would highly advise, learn how the special triangles work, because teachers do know how to work out if you used your calculator or not. Moving on to the last one, which is the sin of 60. So we go to 60 degrees, which is over here. Let me clean this up. And so moving to the sin of 60, sin, so 60 is over there, and so sin is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, and so the opposite is going to be the square root of 3 over the hypotenuse, which is 2. And so the answer is going to be the square root of 3 over 2. Ready to try some more? Well, here, in number 1, the question says the sin of 30 times by the tan of 45. So sin 30 times by tan 45. And the question should have said without a calculator. So the sin of 30, well that's 30 is over here. Now we need to use good old trusty Sokotoa. And so sin is opposite over hypotenuse. And so the opposite of 30 is 1. And the hypotenuse is 2. So the sin of 30 is a half. Tan 45, I'm going to use this 45 over here. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 1 over 1, so that's just 1 over 1, and so half times 1 is a half. Next will be number 2, which is the cos of 60 plus the sin of 45, so let's just write that here, cos 60 plus sin 45, and so we go to the 60 degree, we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 1 over 2, so that's a half, plus the sin of 45, so I'm going to use this 45 over here, sin is opposite over hypotenuse, and so that's going to be opposite, which is 1, over the hypotenuse, which is the square root of 2. Now we have two fractions that we are adding together. What should we do when we have two fractions that we are adding together? Well done, if you said get a common denominator. Now what is the common denominator between these two? Well, I don't know. So remember, when you don't know what the common denominator is, a nice way to do it is just to multiply the two numbers together. And so the common denominator is going to be 2 square root 2. And so this 2 still needs to be multiplied by square root 2. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And then this 2 over here still needs to be multiplied by 2. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so what we're going to end up with is square root 2 over 2 root 2 plus 2 over 2 root 2. Now that the denominators are the same, we can just put them together over one common denominator. Kevin, can't we just ignore the denominators? Isn't that what we normally do? No, you only do that if it was an equation, if we had it equal to something on the other side. But when you're just busy with a simplification, you're not going to ignore the denominators. Only when you are busy with equations. Good question, though. And so we're going to end up with the square root of 2 plus 2. And these two numbers cannot be combined, and so that is the final answer. And moving on to the last one, it's going to be the sin of 60 plus the cos of 30. So sin 60, we go to the 60 degree. We know that sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be the square root of 3 over 2 plus the cos of 30. So we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. 
and so the adjacent is the square root of 3 and the hypotenuse is 2 so that's going to be square root 3 over 2. Now we have two fractions that are being added together but they have the same denominator and so we can just do this and we can just say square root 3 plus square root 3. Now square root 3 plus square root 3 is 2 square root 3 over 2, the 2's cancel and so the final answer is the square root of 3.